Good morning, people. I just landed in your town. Welcome to the podcast. That's number one on your drunk dial list. Hashtag, Hashtag just, just saying. saying. As it should be. Drunk list. <laughs> the drunk list. <laughs> Dag nabbit. Oh, thank you for, for uh, joining us again. Gracias. I am Tara. I'm still Sean. Terrific. Yay, yes. Now that we got the pleasantries out of the way. Oh, let me do the horn. Listen. <laughs> Uh, the, the, we videotape the show. You can catch the, uh, video version of the podcast on YouTube, as well as these fun little location videos that we do. Jump over there, like, subscribe, share. That'd be fantastic. Share. Share! <laughs> not share the, <laughs> not that share. <laughs> share as in, enlighten us to other people. <laughs> now, when you started this, did you say, let me... Something with a horn. A horn? Yeah, I thought you said a horn. A horn? Yeah. No, I don't remember saying anything about a horn. <laughs> Why? You just wanted to play the horn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a horn, actual horn, either. Oh. One of the other versions. I'm sorry. I, I don't know what to say. These things happen. Okay. There it is again. I didn't want that either. What the hell? <laughs> Well, you know, sometimes in life. Oh, this might be it. This has been. There you okay. Go. That's the one I wanted. The real one. <laughs> uh, I trust everyone uh, listening is is in good uh, spirits. Woo. I. Oh, well, it should be. It's Friday. <laughs> well, it's Friday for us. I don't know when uh, you're listening to this. You listen if you're listening whenever. to this on another day, pretend it's Friday. Oh. Or Saturday. It's... Well, Saturday's a good day. I don't yeah. I don't poo-poo a Saturday ever. <laughs> it's my favorite day. Yes. Um, you know what? I'm gonna get right into we I'm gonna get right down to business. Ooh. I have business to get down to. Well, let's take care of that business. <laughs> okay. This week it was announced. I know you you probably know where I'm gonna do, go with this. Hmm. It was announced that Ryan Reynolds <laughs> will be leading a Clue remake. Yes. A Clue remake. Man. I, I am <laughs> speechless. So am I. I am very, people. yes. I find that surprising. <laughs> and I find it interesting, although I was just reading, that he get he's getting like a three-picture deal with Sony, and then all of a sudden, this Clue remake news <laughs> hits my ear. The third remake. Technically, the third remake because it was a some weird direct to DVD remake with uh, children, like, like teenagers or yeah, it, people it, in their twenties. And it wasn't even right. it. Uh, that's fine. And it wasn't even Clue, and they shouldn't have been able to call it Clue. No, not at all. Do you, so, do you want to read it? Read, give that a spin, and we'll catch everybody up. Spinning. Yes. Uh, the article. Ryan Reynolds, the star in Clue remake. Last month, Ryan Reynolds took on the role in the upcoming Detective Pikachu movie. But it won't... <laughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> I honestly didn't expect you to say Pikachu movie. <laughs> That's right, yeah. But it won't be the only uh, comedic mystery on his film slate. The remake of Clue is officially going forward with Reynolds. As one of the leading characters and screenwriters of Deadpool are also in talks... To write the updated version. Deadline broke that the story that uh, Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick are potentially re-teaming with Reynolds on Clue. I was close to not knowing those names. <laughs> it's like every week when I print these damn things out. <laughs> you made it through. <laughs> Which is the first film in a three-year deal with Reynolds has signed with 20th Century Fox. Oh, I had the wrong film company, Ooh. but I had the right number of uh, movies. Yep. I one for two. Reynolds is set to produce the remake of Clue in addition to star in it, but it's currently unclear which role 
will be suitable for rounds to play. Now, Tara and I have talked about this before, mm -hmm. and I believe he would make a good Mr. Green. I have, when we're done with, with the full news, right? Hmm. I actually sat and thought, I have a cast list Ooh. of people. Now, when I first started making the list, okay. right? And check it twice. At, no, I only had to check it once. <laughs> I started to, to, to pick people that was like, oh, uh, like, I, I, at first I started thinking about, like, people that, you know, like, Hollywood would probably, whatever. And okay. then I thought, I thought, you know what? What? I, if I were in charge, I'm going to play casting director and I'm going to make a list of the people that I would want. In this movie. Ones that are worthy for the remake. Yes. Well, in my eyes. <laughs> so. Uh, back in 85, directed John Lynn and screenwriter John Landis adapted Clue into a feature film with an amazingly funny cast that included Tim, Tim Curry, Curry <laughs> Madeline Kahn, Christopher Lloyd, Michael McKean, Martin Mull, Leslie Ann Warren, and Ellen Brennan. What was it? Eileen Brennan. Eileen. Eileen. Sorry, That's all right. right. I wasn't going to even check you on it. I mean, read it too quick. <laughs> Although the movie wasn't a hit at the box office, fuck you, it was for us. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> its reputation as a classic comedy has grown over time. Yes. Damn straight. We're kind of tempted to suggest that Reynolds should also play Detective Pikachu in this film. <laughs> Screw you. Just to give him his own bizarre cinematic universe. No. But if we had to choose a part from the original film, Reynolds could probably play either Wadsworth, Carly's no. role, no, or <laughs> Mr. Green as portrayed by Michael McKean. Yes. A director hasn't been named yet, so it may take a while before the rest of the new cast falls into place. Well, of course it's gone. Yes. Right now, there's just talks. Right. Um, and this... This news really bothered me. <laughs> it really bothered me because it the movie's perfect to me. It's perfect to me. I love everybody in it. I think everybody in it did an awesome job. Awesome cast. Great script. Uh, I just wish I, they re-release it with extras. It's yeah. It's and my it. They 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 literally could. They could do like a um, like a commentary thing. The they could get these surviving cast together mm -hmm. you know that i'm sure they have uh footage of uh the making of or maybe uh behind the scenes uh, footage they I, probably have that somewhere i don't even know it i don't know i know that they're i don't know i feel like there was stuff and then there was a fire at the paramount lot or something and like mm. everything burned up possibly i don't know Okay, so this is going to be a little controversial. Controversial casting! I, uh, I, I, I spent like half the day on this. This was like researched, all right, in my brain. For Wadsworth, right? Tim Curry! Uh, well, we can't have Tim Curry. Could he do that again? Somebody, no, I was reading online, I was reading the comments of one of those articles, right? And somebody said... Oh, they should have Tim Curry be Mr. Body. <laughs> and I thought, but no disrespect to Tim Curry because I absolutely love him. Yes. But he's in a wheelchair now. Yes. I mean, there's a thing where Mr. Body tries to escape. Yeah, what's Tim And do? now all, all I'm doing, all, all I'm doing is picture him <laughs> is like with the ship stick on his little wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> That is awful, and I'm so sorry because I love him so much. Um, for Wadsworth, Hugh Laurie. Mm -hmm. I think Hugh Laurie would be good, or Sean Pertwee. Damn straight. Because you need a British guy. It's yes. a butler. You need a British guy. Those two are very worthy to play Wadsworth. Yes. And if I... Actually... Actually. Actually, um, if I may say... Okay. Sean Pertwee already has experience with butlering. Yes. <laughs> Um, and actually Hugh Laurie does too, because there was a, uh, a BBC, uh, series called Jeeves and Worcester, and he, for the radio version, he played, uh, Worcester, I believe. So he, he played a butler, kind of. Okay. Now, I don't know, um, 
I'm like trying to like uh, defend my <laughs> selections already because I don't know how many of these are going to be well known by people. Colonel Mustard, Nick Offerman, because he can rock a mustache. <laughs> That's st and he's very deadpan, so I think he could he could do it well. Right. And my second pick would be Ned Luke, who did um, he was in the Grand Theft Auto game, but he's actually pretty cool, <laughs> and he has the look. I think he could pull it off. Okay, Professor Plum, Eric McCormick, because I like him. <laughs> Oh, Rupert Evans. Rupert Evans is in a, a really cool mini miniseries called Man in the High Castle. And he's British but can do an American accent. So you could make Professor Plum either like British. Yes. Actually, yes. Uh, so you can make him British or American. He can do both. And he has that kind of look. He looked like he'd be a professor. Wait, wait. What, what? If? what if? What if? If. I'm ready. I said if. Okay. What if they had Sean Pertwee as Wadsworth? Okay. And had Hugh Laurie as Plum. You yeah, know what? Have them both in the movie. You know what? I I well, I was trying to, I was trying to pick two people per role. Oh. And so I couldn't pick Hugh Laurie twice. <laughs> <laughs> well, since I didn't do the list, then yeah. I, I can say it. You should. You can say whatever you like. Have Hugh Laurie as Plum. Okay. I'm I'm all for Hugh Laurie doing anything, anything. He's awesome. For Mr. Green. I actually did go with Ryan Reynolds. I think Ryan could pull it off. I think he could do a good job. Mm -hmm. Or Clark Gregg. Yes. Because I love Clark mm -hmm. Gregg. <laughs> and he'd, he'd be like, hey, thanks for getting me a job. <laughs> You're welcome, Clarko. <laughs> All right, Miss Scarlet. Actually, you might be on board with this. Uh, with, with the second choice. Um, for the Miss Scarlet, I actually picked... I was trying to think of female actors. And I was like thumbing through... Uh, Instagram and stuff mm -hmm. <laughs> because I was trying to find somebody with the right look who didn't annoy me <laughs> which is very difficult by the way um, and I picked I, I'm gonna fuck up her name hey I do it all the time I know you do <laughs> bud I know you do uh, Marina Baccarin who plays Dr. Lee Thompson on Gotham Okay. and yeah. she's also in the Deadpool movie so I don't know if that would really work because they'd be working together again but I thought she'd be kind of cool as Miss Scarlet, or, and I have to explain why I picked this person. Okay. Mm. What? What if she was Mrs. White? Oh, I already picked two of people from Mrs. White. <laughs> All right. My list. <laughs> Lee can be Mrs. White, because she's got the jet black hair. Okay. And Madame, Madame Khan had jet black hair for her. Yes, she did. Now, the other day I watched... Uh, this YouTube video called 80 Stars Then and Now. Mm -hmm. Okay. People from like 80s TV shows, 80s movies, stuff like that. And Boys. yes, oh, very much so. Time. Very much so. So I was watching, I was watching that. And some of these people, by the way, did not age well. <laughs> I was like, ooh, so you got hit by a brick. <laughs> and, <clears throat> excuse me, I get all choked up. Uh, one of the people on the list, and I thought she looked she looked pretty good, and I thought if they kind of slutted her up <laughs> a little bit, she could probably do it. Leah Thompson mm. from Back to the Future. Yeah. She kind of tried to sleep with her son in that movie. Mm -hmm. So what the heck? And I. That's uh, a good one. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's so random. I've seen her on the uh, recent like uh, updated interviews. Yeah. For the Back to the Future. DVDs and Blu-rays. She still looks good. Yeah. I don't know how old she is. Probably about 50. Probably about 50, but she still looks good. Yeah. So, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's I'm, a good one. Thank you. I thought you might I thought you might approve. I, yes. <laughs> Two thumbs up. Yay. Woohoo. Okay, Mrs. White. Yeah. <laughs> but Mrs. White, my first choice was Megan Mullally. Because I think she has great comedic timing. She has she has jet black hair as well, mm -hmm. um, and I think she she can be really funny, but she can be like she can level it off too. I think she she would do a good job. And my second choice, and this is kind of strange, but like I said, I was going through Instagram and I was like, who would be good? Uh, Ming Na Wen from Agents of Shield. I wouldn't know. Uh, she's right up there. <laughs> I'll show you later. 
she read up there. She actually used to be on ER, also. All right. Um, I think she's kind of she could she could do it. I don't know how she is with comedy though, so I'd have to have her in for a screen test. <laughs> <laughs> this one popped in my head. What do you think of Mila Kunis? I try not to. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm looking at this picture, and I'm trying to think who might have that uh, look. I don't know. I think Mila Kunis might have that look. Really? I don't. I don't know. How was her? How's her comedic? How How is she with like comedy? I have no idea. Because uh, I never watched that '70s show, so I don't know. I don't know Did, if they oh, had to carry her. or... I watched it. Did you? It was funny and she was good. Okay. But. No. Okay. <laughs> I'm just giving her a shot. Oh, okay. <laughs> you don't have to defend your thing. Like, I was going through mine, like, oh, I'm not going to defend this, but it's your pick. Okay, for the cop, who was Howard Hessman's role. Mm -hmm. Okay. The cop comes in at the end. Wadsworth, we got her. <laughs> all right. There we go. Okay. I got. All right. My first pick is Michael Rooker. Michael Rooker is from walking dead yes mm -hmm. finally <laughs> no 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 it was like because the thing that i was gonna say was he was in guardians of the galaxy but many people would i'm sure not know him from that but he yes walking dead oh. um if you remember years ago he was um in mall rats he was the girl's dad who was uh, running the thing at the mall mm -hmm. he ate the poopy pretzel it was disgusting <laughs> Uh, my second choice for the cop, uh, I'm sorry, my second choice for the, uh, for the chief. cop, yeah, for the chief. Um, wait, I fucked it up, actually. This was the cop. <laughs> Remember the cop who went mm -hmm. into the library? Yeah, you locked me in. Bill Henderson. Yeah. The Michael Rooker or John Boyega from Star Wars. <laughs> 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 I don't know why. I just thought, eh, why not? Give him a fin. <laughs> why not? My, my choice for the detective... Since we were on that, the Howard Esman role. Um, chief. Yeah, the, the chief. Uh, I only put one name down. Mark Hamill. Mm -hmm. Full, like, a, you put him, beard or no beard, whatever. Give him a haircut, though. Make him look a little sharper. Yeah. Yes. If, I don't know. when Mark. When, when I first started making the list, I was like, for some reason, he kept popping in my head for that role, so. <laughs> okay. Singing Telegram. I only have one name. Seth MacFarlane. <laughs> for two reasons. Number one, okay, for three reasons. Number one, it'd be unexpected. Yeah. Number two, he can actually sing. And number three, I want to see him get shot. <laughs> shot almost spit his drink. Because <laughs> she, you know, that, that role, that's not a big role. It's a three second thing. Yeah. And I thought that'd be really funny. And somebody opens up and there he is singing. I'm just singing. To <laughs> Except uh, it's a remake, so you just shoot him right in the forehead. Yeah. Okay. For the driver or the um, motorist. The motorist. <laughs> I got two names. Okay. The first name, and this is in no particular order, by the way. The first name is John Ross Bowie. He plays Barry Kripke on Big Bang Theory. And he's also on a show called Speechless, which is very good. Very, yeah. And um, I was, he's actually taken eight seconds to speak to me online, so I think, <laughs> think I should give him a role. Um, and my next selection for that role is Neil Patrick Harris. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Okay. Neil Patrick Harris, I know from hearing an interview of him, is a huge fan of Clue. Mm. So I would think he would try... To get in on it, I would hope. Yeah, I was like, oh man, if they have any kind of like open casting call, he's gonna be all over that. <laughs> hmm. So, I don't know who's gonna be in charge of like casting it. If it's gonna be, um, if Ryan Reynolds is gonna have any say. Oh, I forgot Mrs. Peacock. Yeah, I did. Shit, I spent all day on this and I forgot a name. <laughs> <sighs> You guys, now I gotta come up with one on the spot. Oh wait, um, Mrs. Ooh. Peacock. Yeah. Yvette. Yeah, I know. I couldn't come. I couldn't come up with any more names, dude. I was dying, and, and I spent all day on those selections. <laughs> now I know you're gonna hate this, but 
I'll I'll try not to. <laughs> no, I won't, won't get violent or anything. Oh, you will. I'll get violence. <laughs> You'll hate it. <sighs> I forget where I saw this. Oh no! I feel like I know who you're gonna say. Yeah, Go ahead. You know. Go ahead. I saw somewhere that somebody uh, thought Melissa McCarthy, ah! Melissa McCarthy could be the cook. You know what? Hey, she only has like three lines. That's exactly what I was going to say. I was like, the cook has like three lines. Dinner will be ready at 7.30. And she gets stabbed. And she dies. Mm -hmm. So take it away, Melissa. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. You can have it. <laughs> I will let you. Mm -hmm. I don't... I've said it before on the show, I don't think she's very funny. I don't know how she keeps getting work. <laughs> I don't know how. I'm afraid someday somebody like listening to this show is going to be like, Hey, I know her. <laughs> I mean, like somebody was talking shit about you on this podcast. I'm telling Melissa on you. I know. And then I'll get some angry email from her agent or lawyer or something. Well, that'll be you. <laughs> <laughs> bailing on me so quickly. Melissa won't be mad at me. Like, that's all you. Tab and I enjoyed Mike and Molly. Tab and I liked some of the uh, stuff that she was in. That's fine. That's fine. Everybody's got their own taste. That's yep. what makes the world go round. Somebody thinks she's funny. She keeps getting tired. Yep. So, hey, you know what? Good, good for you. You keep getting work. Mm-hmm. Or, or another cool idea would be whoever's still around. <laughs> whoever's still around. <clears throat> give some of them the um, the minor roles as cameos. Uh, Colleen mm -hmm. Camp is still around. She actually could be the cook. Mm. Yeah, she gains some weight. <laughs> yeah, I've seen pictures of her. Yeah, um, she's not looking as hot as she did. 30 years ago. And the only female from the cast that's left Leslie Ann Warren. is Leslie Ann Warren. She looks okay, I guess. She could be the same singing telegram girl. Because <laughs> in the movie, she's the one that shoots her, right? Technically, yeah. Well, in one of them. In one of the endings, one, yes. Yeah, one of the scenarios. She opens the door, recognizes it from a photo, shot her. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. That's it. Shoot. I can't believe I forgot Mrs. Who are Peacock. You? Perry Mason? I can't believe I forgot her. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I worked so hard. I was very I was working very diligently on my list. Yeah. I was thinking, I was thinking all day. I'm like, okay, who and like I mean, I would want to put here's the thing. Now, I I like um Robert Downey Jr. I think he's awesome and he's a good looking man. <laughs> but I'm like, he wouldn't fit in this in that kind of movie. Like, I, I don't know. I was like, they'd be better off getting, like, staying away from, like, those, like, really top A-list mm. people. I just thought someone else could be Mr. Barty, but I gotta look up his name because I can't remember right now. Oh, what was he in? <sighs> <laughs> he was the bad guy in one of the Transformer films. Oh, I can't help you. Uh, <laughs> no, wait. The bad guy? Mark Wahlberg. No. <laughs> Are you sure it wasn't Mark Wahlberg? No, because Mark wasn't on uh, Grey's Anatomy. <clears throat> I should freaking know his, his name from Grey's, but it's, I'm drawing a blank like always. I, I don't, yeah, I don't know. Very I'll just keep name. talking. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, gotta look up real quick. I don't, uh, I don't watch the Grey's Anatomy. I can't help you. I mean, um, I'm just drawing a blank right now. That's okay. It happens. That age. <laughs> Happens age. Yeah, and before you won two months. I was I was talking to a friend of mine uh, Thursday, and she was like, "How Come you on. doing?" And I said, "Well, I still." She asked me like, "How you doing? Like, how you feeling?" And I said, "Well, I'm still having trouble with my back. Fucking sucks." And then she goes, "Oh," and then she goes, "Yeah." And she was talking about something she wanted her doctor to give her, and I said, "Why? Why do you want to take that?" And she goes, oh, I got some joint pain. And I said, what the fuck? And she goes, yeah, a little bit of joint pain in my knee. She goes, sometimes I'll move and my knee will crack. And I'm like, really? <laughs> That's my whole fucking day. I was like, it's called, like, turning 40. Because mm -hmm. she's turning 40 this year. So she's like. So is Joe. Yeah. So she goes, I'm, I'm 
I'm turning. So I said, it's all about turning 40. I was like, your bones crack. Everything happens. She's like, well, son of a bitch, I didn't ask for this. I you, said, should, yeah. you should hear me every day at work. Every yeah. time I stand up, my knees sound like you got a handful of peanuts. <laughs> and you're squishing peanuts in your hand. Now we're the old cranky podcast. Yes. Uh, Patrick did... Dempsey. Oh, Patrick Dempsey for what? Mr. Body. For Mr. Body? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't want to get like give him, like, he can't, I don't know. They're like, you got to have, like, somebody who can play slimy. Because Mr. Body's he's a... in Transformers. Mr. Body's a shit. He was, <laughs> I don't remember him being in, being in Transformers. Which one was that? Um, the third one? Maybe the fourth one. The fourth one? Oh, God. <laughs> How many have they done now? Eight? I can't wow. keep up. I can't keep up. Oh, during that one, he had this, yeah. uh, this certain watch that transformed. It went off his wrist onto, I guess, Marks or somebody. and <sighs> like went into his skin. And Gross! This is weird. I'm very uncomfortable just thinking about that. Oh, I'm going to put it into this. <laughs> what are you going to put it into? I'm bringing this back up and highlighting his name. Let's see which damn Transformers he's in. Oh, okay. Okay, that that old picture and no, that wouldn't work for Buddy. That's from <laughs> um, that looks like it's from uh, what's that? Oh, what '80s movie was he in? Can't Buy Me Love. Mm -hmm. Can't Buy Me Love with a very young Seth Green. <laughs> by the way, Seth Green. I'm trying to see if maybe he'd fit into the cast. <laughs> Seth Green? I mm. don't think so. No, not not in my, not in my world. <laughs> Maybe somebody else is casting. Not in my world. So you kind of so, a, a Mr. Body look to him. Uh, well, just because he's in a suit in that picture. <laughs> yeah. Sean's, Sean's on IMDb. Okay, Look it up the whole. Ah. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, that picture's a little. This is, this is great blurry. podcasting, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So, Dark of the Moon. Oh. He was Dylan. I must have seen he that. He was an asshole. I must have seen that. Oh, yeah, you had to. I didn't see the last one that came out, like a few months ago. It feels yeah. like it was a few months ago. I think it was last year, but... Was it? They usually put them around the 4th of July. God damn it. I saw... All right. I don't know if anybody can relate to this. I saw a friend of mine on Wednesday that I haven't seen since, like... September or so. But here's the thing. It's one of those things that, like, you haven't seen them in a while, but it seems like you just saw them. Yeah. <laughs> so we sat down and we were talking, and he's like, so what's new? And I'm like, nothing. <laughs> what's new since I seen you last? Nothing. <laughs> I get up, I go to work. What, what do you... That's it. <laughs> he's like, oh, that's exciting. But it was like, I started to talk to him about something. And then he said, oh, no, that was months ago. And, I, oh, he's got a new job. So I was like, oh, I thought you had this job. And he said, no, that was like three jobs ago. <laughs> like, I can't. So I said, I don't know what it is when you get, when you're a kid, it's like the things you can't wait for your birthday. And it's like, oh, when is it going to be my birthday? And Christmas. Yep. When is it going to be Christmas? And anything at school you get a break from. Like Thanksgiving break. Uh, did we used to get did did when we were in school? Did we get a week off at Thanksgiving? No. Not a week off. We had, we had a, like three we, days off. We got a half day before Thanksgiving. Right. For prep rallies for football. <laughs> and we had Thanksgiving and the day after off, so it was like a long, mm. like four and a half day weekend. In my mind, we should have had a week. <laughs> we should have had a week. But then we had Christmas vacation, February mm -hmm. vacation, April vacation. Nice. Which these days, I think they should take one of those off because they don't need a vacation that soon in between. You know what? I would like it very much if, like, works, like jobs, could coincide with school schedules. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, we'll be closed for, oh. for Christmas vacation. <laughs> uh, April vacation's coming up, everybody. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, oh, yay. They should take February and April vacation away and do it one week in March, right in the middle. It's going to yeah. evenly spread out for them. I guess. I mean, you come back from April vacation, and like a few weeks later, you're out for the summer. 
the hell? Yeah. Damn kids. It's bad enough you guys gotta get picked up in front of your houses. <laughs> We're talking about bones creaking and damn kids. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> When did we become those people? I'll tell you when. <sighs> so I said, when you're a kid, and then it's like, oh, I can't wait for Christmas. And it seems like it takes a lifetime. Yep. I said, and then you get to be like around this age. And it's like, oh, remember we we did that thing? Blah, blah, blah. No, no, that was like three years ago. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> and then I saw this meme the other day that was like, hey. Remember when 30 years ago felt like it was 1970-something? <laughs> <laughs> like, 30 years ago should be the 80s, and it's not. Hmm. And it sucks. I just want to jump in the DeLorean and go back to the 80s and just live there again. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. My goodness. So... Just save up a lot of paychecks now so you can ball out back then. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Remember we were doing those uh those things like oh the price of a home in mm -hmm. 1982 and stuff it's like 15 grand. Yep. Cheaper than a car. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Go back in time and just start living again. <laughs> I'd like a do over please <laughs> with all my fundage. And you already have knowledge of what's going to happen in the future so Oh, it's like we got it's like we got that sports almanac. Yeah. <laughs> Our own mental version. We got that sports almanac. So when somebody looks at that idiot Trump, huh. he's like, yeah, he's gonna be president someday. Yeah. No, he wouldn't. I yes. can't even I can't even talk about that right now. That's not even on my list. <laughs> okay, so real quick. Cause yeah, I, that's all the time we have. <laughs> <laughs> I had a piss poor week this week in terms of dealing with people driving. Which is one of the reasons why we're going to make a video for you of that. <laughs> we are. That's going to be coming. Um, it's I, I had like three nights this week. It took me an hour and a half to get home. Ooh. Yes. So, just to have some fun. Because life is about fun. We try to have fun. Yeah, we try to have fun. I'm just going to do a few of these because we also have a kicking it old school segment coming up. Yay! And um, some more stuff. Stuff! Some more stuff. Yay, we're stuffing you. So, <laughs> <laughs> whoa, brother, whoa. So. Hey, that's not as bad as any of the stories we had for you last week. All the toilet stories? <laughs> yeah. Don't tell me that though you didn't think those were funny. Oh, I was cracking up in, in the car for two Hell days. yeah. So you're playing ring toss with your dick. <laughs> with the donuts that had me racked like mm. dying. Okay, so this is weirdest things you've seen in traffic. <laughs> I say as Sean unzips his, his jacket. Okay. I can't wait to hear that. In the, in the car. Oh, that'll be great in playback. <laughs> I watched a motorcyclist have a violent sneezing attack in his helmet at a traffic light. <laughs> That's I'd, disgusting. I'd love to see that. Oh my god. I hope he held it in. I once saw a guy in a Pikachu onesie <laughs> riding a motorbike at 3 a.m. The light went green and he raced the guy in the lane next to him. It was cool. Because <laughs> you got nothing else to do at 3 a.m., right? Nope. Not in a Pikachu outfit. <laughs> <laughs> my fiance told me that she was sitting in traffic yesterday and kept hearing someone honking her, their horn she finally looks over and the guy two lanes over is holding up a sign directed towards her that says you're hot she said it was laminated and everything <laughs> which means he does that a lot so i'm thinking if you're single out there forget tinder and I'm just try ladies. traffic no, no Tinder, just traffic. <laughs> a neighbor, I really don't care for her. I don't know why they added that. I really don't care for her. Told me she was cleaning out her husband's car and found a flip chart with hateful words. He used to curse out bad drivers with the B word, the C word, the F and B word. And he would get to stoplights beside them 
and hold up the page with the curse word on it. Cue cards. I might do that. That I'm sounds that. that sounds good. I saw a herd of swans attacking this guy's beautiful jaguar. <laughs> Whatever he did, they would not let up. <laughs> what would you do to piss off a swan? Wow. I don't, maybe they owed him money or something. <laughs> when I was a teenager, I saw a group of peacocks wildly attacking a brand new silver Porsche. It was mating season, and apparently a couple of the males saw their reflection in the paint job <laughs> and decided they were having none of it. <laughs> Hey, you! Oh, Mrs. Peacock. <laughs> oh. I saw a dude get out of his truck, pull out fishing gear, and pretend to fish for cars on his tailgate. When he finally got the line stuck on a guy's windshield, he called for his buddy to come out and help reel it in. Mm -hmm. They ran up to the car with a net and put it on the windshield and then proceeded to take a picture with the car! <laughs> When I got closer, I noticed the dude's lure was a small red gas can. <laughs> As I lane past his, he looked and gave me a tip of his hat and continued to try to catch the Hummer one lane over. <laughs> That's guy always trying to catch a Hummer, huh? Hum. A tire came off on the highway. Another truck hit the tire in just the wrong way, and it acted like a ramp. And the truck came off the ground. Don't you know about this? When they landed, they lost control and hit the concrete barrier. I didn't stop, so I'm sure what happened after that. This person did the right thing. They kept going. <laughs> I hate when people stop and stare at things. <laughs> I saw some guy eating cereal at a stoplight yesterday. <laughs> Sean, where were you? <laughs> I was in the car that we talked about with the other guy that cooks breakfast. Oh, I know. <laughs> I hope there's a breakfast one in there. Somebody cooking. I really want it, want it to be. I was driving to Santa Fe. There was a deer hanging out on half a couch. And half a mile further up, the other half of the couch with a different deer laying on it. <laughs> oh, dear. Relaxing deer. <laughs> Netflix and chill. <laughs> driving in Colorado Springs, I saw a man on a small motorcycle. He was very large, wide and tall. He had a pipe hanging out of his mouth and a bucket of KFC in the other not a damn clue how he was driving. Wow. That's dedication. Yeah. I tell ya. Finger licking good. <laughs> oh, boy. <clears throat> mm. Let's see. I'm just skimming because I don't want to run too long with these. Uh, I once saw a man chasing an ostrich down I-90 west of Little Rock. That's not something you see every day. Was he on foot or by car? No, yeah, just running one foot. <laughs> there was a guy transporting one of those small trains that parents paid 20 bucks for their kids to ride. It was in the shape of Thomas the Train. About five minutes behind this guy, Thomas comes loose and slides off the trailer. I swerved to avoid it. A Texas state trooper who was running my license plate behind me slammed into it. Mm. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> gotcha, bitch. <laughs> Trauma. Around four years ago, uh, ooh, Nope, I'm not going to read that one. <laughs> Four years ago, something happened. No, no, it's, it's very dirty. Um, this person lives in Egypt and is going to list all of the nasty things that happen in traffic in Egypt. Um, none of the things I've seen are remotely weird or abnormal to people here, but to me, they are. First off, there are no lanes. They will cram six <laughs> lanes of traffic into a four-lane highway. No lane! No lane! <laughs> And all just cut each other off, laying on horns, bumping into one another, further, further adding to the problem. I've seen people casually standing in the middle of the highway, toddlers walking down the highway alone. Every vehicle, no matter what type, a car, truck, donkey cart, bicycle, camel's ass, <laughs> is branded with some misspelled variation of Mercedes or Ferrari. And Ferrari is spelled F-A-R-R-A-R-I. -R 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 -R. <laughs> People are constantly driving the wrong way. People are getting hit by cars. Wow. Vehicles with random, cool-sounding English buzzwords have absolutely no meaning whatsoever, such as hot top, super faster, and my car hard fresh. I think my car hard fresh is going to be my new band name. <laughs> my car hard fresh. Word. People blocking traffic on the... On the Cairo ring road, selling inflatable hammers you would get at a carnival. <laughs> Packs of tissues, cigarettes, roasted corn, 
feather dusters, and steering wheel covers. I've often been in traffic and thought if I only had a feather duster. I think the inflatable hammers that hit the people that are walking around. <laughs> <laughs> the toddlers would just hang out the window. And be like fucking gopher. <laughs> <laughs> the gopher game at a carnival. Exactly. <laughs> oh, motorcycles with no fewer than six riders, most children, none wearing helmets or shoes. Small pickup trucks stacked 30 feet high carrying various things from chickens to mattresses. Are we still in Egypt? We're still in Egypt. Donkey carts. Wow, it's freaking dangerous out there. This is the last Egypt one. Near the coast, fishermen stand barefooted atop the Jersey-like barriers, holding up the day's catch in the hot Egyptian sun, trying to get people driving down the highway to pull over and buy it. Cook this. <laughs> it's already half cooked. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> Oh. Fishy, fishy. Yeah. <clears throat> My friends and I were driving back from Wisconsin to Michigan and around Chicago. We saw a Tesla. None of us had ever seen one before, and we got really excited. We pulled, Ooh. we pulled up next to it, and sure enough, the guy was in the driver's seat, had both hands on his phone, not looking at the road at all. Tesla is a self-driving, in case you didn't know. Uh, we followed it for a few miles, marveling at the car driving itself. <laughs> Then we saw signs for the land closure coming up and wondered if the Tesla would know to merge. Nope, it does not. It smacked into a few traffic cones before the driver was able to get it back to safety. <laughs> Technology isn't there yet, folks. Nope. They should be yes. doing all these type of tests before they put it on the damn road because you are now endangering everybody else. Right. South of Atlanta on I-75, a slow-speed police chase. Driver pulls over and lets a passenger out. The passenger starts out running with sagging pants and quickly turns into him hopping down the middle of the interstate with his pants around his ankles. Get a belt. Police are so distracted that the driver takes an off-ramp and gets away without chase. <laughs> I, could, I would be your distraction. I could be like, I wouldn't even have to run. I could just walk quickly and my pants would fall. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> You'd get away. Get a belt. <laughs> oh my goodness my goodness oh my. yeah <laughs> followed a van coincidentally not on purpose down i-20 west for over 100 miles they had some hardcore porn <laughs> playing very visibly in, in yes. the in the two back of headrest tv that was pretty weird because it was a family vacation <laughs> that's messed up I really enjoy doing stupid shit in traffic with the hopes I'll get a glance from other drivers. Where's this guy? I want to... <laughs> My favorite was one time I ate three or four pieces of gum and blew a bubble so big I couldn't see over it. <laughs> I let that thing pop right on my face. It was all over the place. I looked to my right and all four people in the car next to me were falling over each other cracking up. <laughs> Another time I just picked up my sister and her two friends from the airport and we got stuck in traffic getting out. The guy next to us had a car full of cotton candy. Ooh. I mean to the top. He tossed us four bags through the window right before the traffic let up and went on his way. Nice. <laughs> Free cotton candy. Where's this guy? I don't know. I want some. I, I know. Love cotton candy. Oh. Uh, especially the real stuff that you get at the cows. Mm. <laughs> I once saw two cows having sex. Moo. Not a bull and a cow. Two cows. I don't know. <laughs> no. I don't know what happens. I know. No. I'm like, um, uh, Movie, baby. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Saw a huge guy on a Honda Goldwing bike uh, come beside me uh, on the traffic lights. The onboard stereo is on full blast, and he looks very mean. Except the music isn't heavy head. Any, uh, excuse me. Except the music isn't any. Heavy metal or rock, it's Tom Jones. <laughs> I would not expect a big burly biker guy to be playing Tom Jones. Me neither. It's not unusual. No, it is very unusual, actually. <laughs> Carlton. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's about a car accident. Everybody okay? I don't wanna I don't wanna like uh hmm. Yeah, I'm going to skip that one. I'm not sure everybody's okay. <laughs> if I'm not sure everybody's okay, I'm not going to read it. That's just awful. I don't want to, like, bring everybody down. 
Um, sure. <laughs> I was driving on the highway and I saw some person in a maroon Mitsubishi Eclipse changing lanes a bunch and flew past me. He or she ran into some traffic up ahead and got boxed in, so I was able to catch up. The driver had both feet out the driver's side window like a passenger would, um, except his or her feet were crossed, resting on the door near the rearview mirror. He was on cruise control, I guess. I sped up to get away from that car since there was no way in hell it would be able to use the brakes anytime soon. What is wrong with people? And where are the cops? I don't know. Because what pissed me off is they don't patrol like they used to. Yeah. You barely see them anywhere around here now. Oh, I know it. Driving to work one morning at a red light, the person in front of me opens their door, pukes all over the road, and closes the door. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like doing that on the way to work. I can tell you that. Gross. Like, bleh. <laughs> oh, I feel much better now. <laughs> Oh, this person just listed a bunch of shit that they saw. Okay. I've seen a van full of little people dressed as babies. <laughs> Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year's babies. A driver dressed in a dinosaur costume. As long as it wasn't a T-Rex, because they'd be like this. <laughs> Fine. A 16-passenger van with people dressed up from different characters of Sesame Street. <laughs> seen lots of topless women driving. Saw a guy driving with a couple uh, having sex in the back. Windows not tinted. <laughs> clear as day. Live porn. <laughs> Live yeah. porn. Woo. Endless amounts of people watching movies and texting while driving. Seen people reading books while driving and newspapers. Watched a woman drive around a belt loop for at least 15 miles while getting dressed and putting her makeup on. I hate that. Oh my god. Saw a fat Hey, finally! Somebody we can hang out with. Saw a fat guy with a small camping stove in the back seat making food while someone was driving. There you go, yeah. Watch the guy... <laughs> oh my god. Watch the guy shit out the window while the car was doing 70 miles an hour. Ew. How would... I don't know. I don't know how that would work. Wouldn't it... I don't know. I don't even want to think about it. Splat. Yeah, watch some guys try stashing pot in various parts of the car because a cop was riding behind them. That was interesting. Yeah, but that wasn't too obvious. <laughs> Watched a guy surf a sofa on the interstate. He almost fell off. Uh. Saw a little person on a big motorcycle. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be a military police officer. One day driving in town, stuck in traffic, our patrol car. A mattress came flying out of the third story window on fire and landed on top of our car. Jeez. <laughs> if it was on fire, I would have said, oh, it's time for bed. Oh, definitely time for bed. Nap time. Yes. Indeed. Woo. See, people just do stupid shit while they're driving. And that's a lot worse than what we would see around here. I know. But we're still going to make a video for you. <laughs> Let's and we're going to critique. Critique. Crit Critique. Thank you. <laughs> <can't talk> <laughs> um, <laughs> we're gonna do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that. <laughs> I'm gonna take care of that. Critique the shit out of it. Yeah. Oh, what you gonna do there, Sean? Uh, I was gonna do that. You're I not gonna do that. Week. But I wanna jump on one of these because Super Bowl is coming. Yes. Remember when Super Bowl used to have cool commercials? Used to. Oh, I think this, I want to say this Tuesday, mm -hmm. there's going to be in one hour, ep uh, I was going to say episode, one hour show about yeah. the greatest Super Bowl commercials ever. Really? Yep. My DVR set for it. <laughs> nice. It better be from like the 90s and stuff or early 2000s because that's when they were funny as hell. Yeah. It makes me sad they're not funny anymore. They're like all serious and. Yeah, they suck. What's with Budweiser with their little horses trying to make me cry? <laughs> the little, the little pony one. Yeah, I can't. Budweiser, come on. You're a beer. <laughs> no, don't take yourself so seriously. Nobody likes you anyway. So I'm gonna do this one. I'll yeah. Start with this one. Okay. The best current NFL players without a Super Bowl appearance. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. And I put them in order that they were in 
on the article that I saw. <laughs> yeah. So I didn't put them in. Okay. One of these lists I put somebody last, but it's not this one. Number one on this list. Yep. Odell Beckham Jr. Yep. <laughs> Beckham has been arguably the best wideout in football since his rookie season in 2014. He reached 1,300 yards for the first straight season in 2016. He played just four games in 2017 because of injury. Yep. He is like Gronk fragile. <laughs> That's his first injury. I'm hoping he will fucking take care of himself next season because... Uh, it, they need him. It, yeah, it just proved how badly they need him. Mm -hmm. and I, I, when I first saw this, I knew you'd be thrilled that he was number <laughs> one on the list. I'm happy that at least somebody from the Giants is on there. Um, I'm just trying to go ahead. <laughs> you don't have to and go ahead. And yes, he's the only Giant on there. Of course. <laughs> number two was LeVon Bell from the Pittsburgh Steelers. Okay. Many feel it's only a matter of time before Bell reaches his first Super Bowl. He has a spectacular season in 2017 with 1,291 yards rushing and 655 receiving. Three was Eric Berry of the Kansas City Chiefs. Berry has been an elite safety since he was drafted in the first round in 2010, but he missed, he almost missed all of 2017 with an Achilles injury. I knew that word. <laughs> and it looks a little um, challenging for me. I knew that one. I can, a get lot a, of, I can get Achilles. I can't a, get names. A lot of syllables in there. <laughs> Des Bryant of the Dallas Cowboys. Boo! <laughs> Bryant has had three 1,000-yard seasons under, under his belt, but has slowed over the last two years due to injuries and the changing Cowboys offense. I don't like the Cowboys. I never cared. <laughs> <laughs> I never cared. Next is Derek Carr of the Oakland Raiders. Carr was a legitimate MVP candidate in 2016 before taking a step back in 2017. The Raiders quarterback posted 22-13 uh, touchdowns interceptions ratio and finished just shy of 3,500 passing yards. The Raiders actually started out the season really well. They're one of those teams that like started really uh, like promising and then they mm -hmm. fizzled out real fucking quick. And you just went, what the hell happened? I'm still waiting to see if uh, Ice Cube's going to be buying them or not. I haven't heard anything about that. He's doing this, uh, he did this basketball thing last year called the Big Three. And he's doing it again this year. Hmm. It's like his own personal little basketball league. I thought he was in works with uh, Chris Tucker to do another Friday. I don't, I don't I know I idea. anything about that. In my no, career. I haven't either. <clears throat> Next, Aaron Donald of the L.A. Rams. An elite defensive tackle, Donald has 39 sacks in his first four NFL seasons for the up-and-coming Rams. Yeah, that's all they said about them. <laughs> that's, that's just the Rams. <laughs> what else can you say? Devon Freeman of the Atlanta Falcons. Freeman's numbers dipped in 2017, but he still has had over 1,100 yards from scrimmage, which doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> he scored eight touchdowns and averaged 4.4 yards per carry. Mm-hmm. Again, those scrimmages, that don't count. <laughs> Next is A.J. Green with the Cincinnati Bagels. Green bounced back from a subpar 2016 season with 75 catches for 1,078 yards and 8 touchdowns. He's one of the best receivers in the NFL after 7 seasons. Mm. Next is DeAndre Hopkins of the Houston Texans. Hopkins has had another monster season with 96 catches for 1,378 yards and 13 touchdowns. His numbers are even more amazing when you consider that he lost his starting quarterback, Deshaun Watson, early in the season. Next is Justin Houston of the Kansas City Chiefs. One of the elite pass rushers in the league when healthy, Houston bounced back from an injury he played 2016 to tally 9.5 sacks and 59 tackles in 2017. Next one also on the Kansas City Chiefs, Travis Kali. Right? <laughs> Kali, I guess. I don't know. It looks, looks like that to me. Possibly the best tight end in football, not named Rob Gun 
Gronkowski. <laughs> Uh, Fragile. Yeah. Uh, he's had 83 receptions for 1,038 yards in 2017. He's a key weapon for the Chiefs. Andrew Luck of the Indiana Colts. It hasn't been lucky at all. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, 2017 was a lost season for Luck as he sat out with shoulder troubles. If he can be healthy, he is an elite quarterback. Hmm. <laughs> you all right? Take a deep breath. <laughs> Khalil Mack of the Oakland Raiders. He's had a 40.5 sacks in his four-year career. He's had 10.5 sacks and 78 tackles for the disappointing Raiders. <laughs> That's the way it was because I didn't add the word disappointing. <laughs> That's fine. They were disappointing. I told you straight away. Next was uh, LaShawn McCoy of the Buffalo Bills. McCoy has a six-time 1,000-yard okay. rush. Rusher over his nine years in the NFL and has had one of his best seasons in 2017. The Bills made the playoffs, ending the longest streak in the NFL and appear to be on the way up. The Bills, the Bills are also one of those teams that, like, <clears throat> they just take their fans and just punch them in the chest because it's like, they'll be doing good, our, they'll be doing good, and then just everything goes to hell. Just drops. Yeah, yeah. Next is Jason Peters of the Philadelphia Eagles. Well, they got their wish. <laughs> Did they not? Yes. <laughs> You've got your wish. In 14 seasons, Jason Peters has been named to nine Pro Bowls and two All-Pro teams between Buffalo and Philadelphia. While his Eagles are in the Super Bowl this year, boo. Hmm. Peters has never played in the big game and is out with a knee injury. Aha! But he'll still get a ring. Of course. And that's how Tab feels about Gronk. <laughs> He's always getting injured before we go to the Super Bowl, and then he can't play, which we don't know what his status is. Mm -hmm. But uh, he's going to get a ring, and that yeah. aggravates the shit out of her. Ah! They're coming for us. <laughs> Good. Hide. Turn off the lights. It's too late. <laughs> Sit still. Nah. <clears throat> has been among the best left tackles in football since he entered the league, joining the likes of Joe Thomas, Tyron Smith, and Trent Williams. Next is Mark, Marcus Peters of the Kansas City Chiefs. There's a lot of Chiefs in here. <laughs> I know! <laughs> What's with all the Chief love? Yeah, and only one, uh, one giant. I would think Sterling Shepard because he had an awesome rookie season uh, a, a year or so ago, and then... You know, now he got hurt, so he couldn't really do much. Oh, you can be happy about your giant because there's no one here in the Patriots. Well, they go to the Super Bowl too much. <laughs> That's why I wanted the Jaguars to win. Uh, one of the most feared defensive backs in football, Peters had five interceptions in 2017 and 19 in his three-year career. He also had four forced fumbles and two fumble recoveries in 2017, showing a true eye for the ball. Mm -hmm. uh, next, Peter Patrick Peterson of the Arizona Cardinals. The speedy Peterson <laughs> contributes both <laughs> as a cornerback and on punt returns for the Cardinals. He's three-time first-team All-Pro. And that's all they say about him. Well, that just shows that, that you don't need to say a lot. No. They say <laughs> sometimes uh, less is better. Less is more. Hmm. Yeah. Philip Rivers of the San Diego Chargers. <sighs> Likely a future Hall of Famer, Rivers has thrown for at least 4,000 yards in nine of his past ten seasons. But once again, the Chargers fell short of the playoffs. Because it's the Chargers. Yep. <laughs> Tyron Smith of the Dallas Cowboys is next. <sighs> Fucking Cowboys. Don't worry, they don't say much. Good. One of the game's top left tackles, Smith headlines arguably... The game's best offensive line in Dallas. Uh, don't know how to say his name, so I'm skipping him. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, sorry, you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you. <laughs> sorry. So, next one, Joe Thomas of the Cleveland Browns. <laughs> <laughs> it will be a cold day in um, Hades before we see... The Cleveland Browns do anything. <laughs> mm -hmm. They have not won a game in like what 
three years now? That's sad. They had a parade last year because they were 0-16. Why? They, they threw, well, the fans did it to be assholes. They threw an 0-16 parade. We didn't win a single game. Woohoo! Look at us. Wow. Yeah. And they went this year without winning a game as well. So. Well, that's what they get for that attitude. Yes. <laughs> that's the fucking Browns. What do you expect? They're a surefire Hall of Famer. Thomas made the Pro Bowl in the first 10 seasons of his career before suffering a tricep injury in 2017. He hasn't decided whether he'll return or not. Hmm. Next is J.J. Watt of oh. Houston Texans. J.J. Watt is awesome. I love him. A three-time Defensive Player of the Year award winner, Watt has led the NFL in sacks twice during his seven-year career. Unfortunately, he has played only four games in the past two seasons because of back and knee injuries. Yeah, he got hurt this year. A lot of people are fragile. <laughs> oh, that's sad. For Geely. <laughs> and last on the list is Trent Williams of the Washington Redskins, who we did mention in one of the other ones. <laughs> Protecting the blind side of Kirk Cousins during his tenure and well before that, Williams is a six-time pro bowler and simply one of the best at his position. He's had some injury issues in the past three years, but when healthy, Williams is a dominant is as dominant as they come. There you go. And that's the article list of players without a Super Bowl appearance. Ooh. Your Odell Beckham was number one. <laughs> because it's surprising, because he's so talented. Maybe next year. I don't know. They have a new coach. What can I say? <laughs> what can I say? What would you have me do? What would you do? For, for a Klondike, Klondike bar. bar. Very little, actually. <laughs> They're really not that good. I'd rather have a peppermint patty. <gasps> when I bite into a York peppermint patty. <laughs> I'm going to jump on this person's coffee table. <laughs> I get the <laughs> sensation of riding down the Alps. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Shall we do the thing? Sure. Let's do the damn thing. All right. The damn thing. Let's do the damn thing. Damn. Damn. <laughs> I can't compete with that. <laughs> okay, it is time once again for music to begin. And now. Now, yes. <laughs> when he said now, now. Now, now. We're at now, now. We're at now, now. Go back to then. I can't. Why? Now. Because <laughs> it's now. Uh, kicking it old school. Now. Right now. <laughs> now. <laughs> We're right, right now, now. Now, now. This is now, now. This is old school now. Now. Right now. Okay. <laughs> so, now. Um, Go back to then. I can't. Oh. It's now. Shit. So, I, well, I preface this. We're going to talk about 80s toys, okay? So, before we uh, go right into that, um, I'm going to tell you something. It's related. I finally sat and watched that... Um, that Toys We Love show on Netflix, mm -hmm. or whatever the hell it's called. Those four episodes. What's with four episodes, by the way? Jeez. What's with that? I don't know. It's like they're copying the uh, uh, shows in the UK with their seasons. I know. <laughs> I know. I so, want to think that this was, this was a trial thing to see how it works. Oh, maybe. I'm guessing. All right, let's do four episodes, see how that goes, and then we'll do more if they do well. They do well. I hope they do. Well. They're, they're pretty cool. They were pretty cool. Now, I went on to it, and um, Jay was with me, and uh, I was going to watch I was gonna watch them in order, but he goes, oh, I no. Did. Huh? I did, but I skipped Barbie. Oh, well. So, he goes, no, no, can we watch the He-Man one now? <laughs> So I said, sure, <laughs> let's watch the He-Man one now. <laughs> now. <laughs> now. <laughs> so we watched the He-Man one. I have so much to say about this, but I, I'm going I'm, I'm to not get too deep. Um, I liked He-Man when I was a kid. You too. You did too. I have now, a you and I tried to watch the cartoon as adults. 
<laughs> it, I, I, I think this is just our opinion. I think Sean shared, shared my opinion. I don't think it translated well <laughs> into adulthood. I don't think so. No. And it was sad because I was like, oh, I remember liking it as a kid. But watching it as an adult, it was just, it was cringing. I was cringing through mm -hmm. most of it. I was like, oh. And never have I rooted for Skeletor more <laughs> than I did. And I was like, now I just want him to just win and be done with it. Frank. I was waiting for He-Man to turn into gay porn. <laughs> That's not nice. That's not nice, but I understand what you're saying. <laughs> I understand what you're saying. I wanted Skeletor to just win, and then, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I was like... Anna was so feminine. <laughs> I don't understand. You don't realize this when you're little. Well, no. I mean, I don't understand. And it was funny, because when I was watching the um, the the Netflix show... They were saying, like, the, they were talking to one of the guys who helped create it, and he goes, oh, they put him in a white shirt and a vest, and nobody could tell that it was He-Man. No. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, like, nobody even questioned, like, you know, Prince Adam, you look a lot like He-Man. Has anyone ever told you that? That bowl cut and everything. Oh, with the hair. Jeez. He-Man. <laughs> My gosh. So, I had a blast watching that thing, and just the creation of, of the the, uh, the cartoon and the, and the figures and stuff, and I was like pointing out all the ones I had, I'm like, I had that one, I had that one, I had that one, and um, it was funny, like, they talked real quick about the movie, right? Well, there's not much you want to say about the movie, <laughs> that was a huge disappointment. There is not much to talk about the movie. The movie, they did a He-Man movie. What Don't year was wonder. that? What year was that? 88? Around there. Yeah, it was around 88. He had done Rocky already. Yep, that was 84. Okay, well, okay. And I don't think He-Man hit until, what, like 86? With the cartoon? Yeah. Yeah, about 85, 86. Yeah, so I'm going to I'm gonna guess like 88. Sean's going to look it up for authenticity. <laughs> and, um... It was awful, an awful, awful movie. And it, it like it if you watch the cartoon and then you watch the movie, you were completely lost because mm -hmm. they didn't they didn't use any of the storyline. They didn't. Eighty-seven. Oh, I was real close. Nineteen eighty-seven. They didn't use. I mean, like they didn't use anybody. And there's this like Courtney Cox just hanging out mm. for no reason. And they made up characters in the movie, or like the characters that they had in the movie didn't look anything like the the figures. It was just bad. It was awful. But, 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 they are redoing it. Yeah. They're making a new He-Man movie, and a photo leaked Ooh. online this week leaked. of Tila's battle suit. Holy shit. Dope. 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 <laughs> I was I was like, oh my god. Like I think they might actually redeem He Man. That's probably their uh their goal. I hope so. It has to be. I hope so. Yeah, we've been hearing for years and we agree with them on how that <laughs> original one sucked. Yeah. We have to redeem ourselves. Yeah. I don't know who's I don't even know if they've casted it yet. I think they're still because it was a um, it was a leaked photo of the design of her battle suit, mm. and it looked very they they kind of like leaning on the sci-fi level a little bit. Mm -hmm. It was like this full like suit. It looked like um, uh, for the old school gamers, it kind of looked like a Metroid suit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is that? Halo? Are they playing play Metroid up in this bitch? Um, but it did look really cool, so I was like, oh, well, I hope they're, you know, gonna do it the right way, and make us all forget about the hideous Dolph Lundgren movie. <laughs> but what was funny is that, um, in the, in the special, they cut to Dolph Lundgren, and he was just like, yeah, well, you know. <laughs> like, he had nothing to say at all. He probably feels the same way about it. I... To him, it was just a paycheck. Okay. <laughs> 
He had a body for at the time, but you know what though? You what? know what though? No, I feel like like chicken all right. right? No, <laughs> uh, although I did have chicken. <laughs> I feel like they could have got somebody bigger. Yeah. Because looking at him then, mm -hmm. I was like, he really wasn't that jacked. No. 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 They could have used somebody with like Lou Ferrigno's. Yeah, like physical. Like, whoa, Jesus, look at him. I'm not saying use Lou, but... I mean, he would have given 110%. But. <laughs> he had the right hair. <laughs> yeah. So, hopefully they'll fix it. I'm still waiting for a, uh, a live Thundercats movie to get made. I didn't even know they That's were... That's what I want. Is that something that they were working on, or something that I think they quite... should do? <laughs> I think both. But, uh... <laughs> No, I think a few years ago, or maybe five years ago, mm -hmm. they were in talks of it. Right. But they haven't gone through with it yet. Listen, instead of Hollywood doing all these remakes of movies that they have no business doing, Clue, <laughs> why not make a Thundercats movie or something? That's original, at least. Has there ever been one? Nope. There hasn't. No. There you go. I don't like CGI, <laughs> but you know you can do Snarf CGI and have Snarf. everybody else live people. Snarf. Snarf, snarf. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lordy. I want that. Um, I mean, they did Transformers. Mm-hmm. Which, I don't know. They've done G.I. Joe. Yeah. Which I wasn't crazy about. You didn't like the G.I. Joe movies? I wasn't crazy about them. Okay. I didn't watch them, so... Mm -hmm. I wasn't... I didn't mess with G.I. Joe. That's a that's a that's a very specific toy. <laughs> the Rock was in the second one. Oh, was he? That doesn't mm -hmm. make me want to see it. Mm. He's been in too much. Yeah, he just finished like the Jumanji movie, and mm -hmm. now he's already in another one that's coming out in a few months. He's in a, yeah, the one coming out in a few he's months a, is called Rampage. He's a whore, movie whore. Yeah, and Rampage is actually based on an old video game. Like he did with uh, Doom. Yes. But that was cool. So, it was it was a very old video game, if anybody remembers, and it was, you played as like a, I want to say like a monster or something, and your basic thing was you had to climb the buildings and then destroy the buildings. <laughs> yeah, it was very, it was very, it was like one of those 16-bit video games, mm -hmm. but the old school Nintendo. Excite mm -hmm. Bike. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I was checking IMDb and for Thundercats they had the original cartoon. Yeah. There was a cartoon movie which I don't remember, mm. which I kind of want to find now. <laughs> and they remade the cartoon in like 2010. Oh. Which was okay, but it wasn't really for our generation. Yeah. It was kind of like, eh, it's alright. Oh. I prefer the original. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. I uh... a hard theme song to write. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Thunder, same... thunder, Thundercats. Oh. And that's it. <laughs> Somebody put a lot into that. And they got paid for that. Thundercats are on the move. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are loose. <laughs> <laughs> I know. The air escaping. Feel the magic. Hear the roar. Thundercats are loose. <laughs> it's pretty much that throughout the whole thing. Yeah. You get a little instrumental before they redo that. This is the chorus line. Oh, fancy. But I do want a live action movie of that. I think that'd be awesome. Uh -huh. I think last time when they were in talks of it, mm -hmm. they were thinking about. Um, <sighs> oh, what's his name? Why am I drawing blanks on the names? I hate getting old. I don't old. know. Wesley Snipes. Wow, they, okay. They had him in mind for Panthro. They want to do... Which I think would have been cool. Yeah, maybe. They want to do a um, another Blade. They want to reset Blade mm. and bring him back. Well, because it's a Marvel thing, and Marvel's owned by Disney now, and so, you know, why Disney not? Disney whores everything out now. Yeah. So they're thinking about redoing Blade, and they want to kind of, you know, make cool. And then they thought uh, they're, they were on the talks with Wesley... Because he was in the original Blade movies. I don't know if that's going to happen. Well, a lot of these things... I'm ambivalent about it. I think a lot of these things were 
pushed aside mm -hmm. when they were in talks with him about doing stuff because he got in trouble for his tax thing. Well, you know what? It's just tax evasion. It's not like he killed somebody. <laughs> exactly. I mean, come on. I think they were profiling. think there's something else going on yeah. there mm -hmm. all right so i i actually wrote down some stuff so i had he-man we already talked about that transformers we we kind of talked about transformers already i always got a lot of transformers toys on uh, christmas i am so pissed all my original toys got thrown away G grimlock i had the original grimlock mm -hmm. i can love grimlock he was the best yep a long time ago my dad was looking through the paper and he saw that some guy Pays money for your, your old toys. Yeah. So it wasn't that easy to talk me into selling my Transformers, which I wish I didn't do now. Mm. I had a whole box of original Transformers, and I sold them all for 300 At least you got money for your shit. Yeah. My mom gave my shit away mm. to other kids. <laughs> which, I'm sorry, I get it. I'm, you know, you're helping somebody else. Mm -hmm. But I didn't really have a choice. That sucks. <laughs> was kind of done behind my back <laughs> to me the getting getting all that money for those transformers sounded awesome yeah now i'm regretting the hell of it yeah so i i tell my mom all the time like you know how much those transformers i had because i had a bunch mm -hmm. I'm like and they changed them over the years i was like so you know how much i could get for that now mm -hmm. the original grimlock's going for like 80 bucks and that's open package mm. yeah and i want it but I don't want to pay 80 bucks for it. Kind of like with the Star Wars figures. Yeah. My parents heard that the little Jawa. Oh. Yeah. They made the Jawas in two different ways. One with a cloth type of um, clothing. Yeah. And one with like vinyl. Ooh. If you had the one with the cloth, they're going for big money now. Really? And of course, oh, and like I still have the Star Wars figures that my, me and my brother collected. Yeah. They're actually in my car right now. <laughs> so I'm bringing them home from my parents' house. We, of course, we got the one with the vinyl. Oh, well, at least you still have a figure. Um, I had a bunch of Star Wars figures, and my brother had a bunch. And when I went outside to play, and I brought them outside, and I think I left them outside, <laughs> and they just disappeared. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what the hell happened to them. Some random cat probably took them. I cannot tell you... How long my brother held that over my head. <laughs> <laughs> I had, and I had a ton of, I had the Cantina band. Right, same song. No, okay, no. Same song. Here All right, we go. not that band. I had the other band. The, with the blue guy with the elephant tusk. Oh, them. The elephant thing, yeah. I got them as a uh, toy in my Easter basket when I was little. Nice. Yeah, what was it, Max? Max, Max Rebo. There you go, Max Rebo. Yeah, I had that. Um, I had the jab of the hot. He came with a little guy. I have him in, in the car right now. Nice. I had the Luke and, you know, like the main characters. I had Boba Fett. Boba Fett was my favorite. Mm -hmm. And funny how you mentioned both of them. Because mm -hmm. there are different versions of them, too. Really? Uh, the, the original first Luke Skywalker from the first Star Wars movie. Mm -hmm. They made him with yellow hair. Then they eventually changed it to brownish hair, which I think they point out in the um, on the show on Netflix. Oh, and I well, think I'll it, sure it, watch that episode. And I think if you got the one with the yellow hair, he's worth a lot. Really? Okay. And Boba Fett, they started making him with a little switch on the back so his rocket shoots out. Right, yes. And they changed that so the little kids won't be idiots <laughs> and choking on it. Nowadays they're eating Tide Pods, so what do they know? Mm -hmm. Probably the same kids. <laughs> Um, what was I going to say? Uh, Everybody's after that Boba Fett, though. Yeah. Mint, he's worth a lot. Ooh. I, um, they are, they want to do, and it's on the list, they're going to do a, a solo Boba Fett movie. Solo one's coming out this I mean, uh, and I mean, May. and when I say solo Boba Fett, I mean just Boba Fett. Oh, that type of solo. Yeah. They're going to do I a Boba you, Fett movie. I think you meant like a Han Solo and no. a Boba Fett. no. So Han Solo movies come out in May. Yeah, there's probably I I would expect, although I have no prior knowledge of this, I would expect a trailer at least around the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. 
So I was too. <laughs> I also suspect. Now that's coming out in May. Yes. Oh. I think they're putting it around May twenty fifth or so. Oh. Which is the actual date the original trilogies came out. Oh, this is bad box office timing because the uh, the that's going to be rough because you're going to have the Star Wars uh, Han Solo movie going up against Marvel's Avengers mm. Infinity War movie. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't well, know. Well, depending upon the, I'm gonna, I'm trying to keep an open mind about the movie. I'd like to see some actual footage from it, mm -hmm. like a trailer or something, mm -hmm. before I decide like if I'm gonna go see it. I know Ron Howard's directed it, and I know he's fantastic for some people. Richard Cunningham. Yeah, he's fine. Um, I just I don't know, I don't know where he is. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know sure. like. No, 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 no. I don't mean that. I just mean, I don't know where he stands, like... On his feet? No. <laughs> no, Sean, no! I don't know on how... On the ground? I don't know how much he loves the franchise. Mm -hmm. If this was just a gig, or if, like, he is, like, I love Star Wars so much, I need to direct this movie. Or was he might feel that way. Or was he just somebody that the studio said, we need a director... And Ron, we need... Um, a director with a name that we know. Yeah, and you have, like, three more movies you need to do for us. Mm. So, get cracking there, son. Could be all the above. Hmm. I feel like he might like them. Or I don't know. Might love Star Wars. Maybe. Maybe. He was doing the Happy Days show during that time. <laughs> Happy Days. Now, do you watch? Actually, um, we're kind of actually. branching off a little bit, but because you That's said what we do. because you said Happy Days, it kind of reminded me of something. Mm. Um, I was talking to a friend of mine the other day, and she was telling me about this show that she likes. Um, what's it called? It's called like Never Too Late or something. Better late than never. Something like that. Have you heard this show? Or have you heard of the show? No. What it is is um, it's Henry Winkler. E. Yeah. And uh, um, some uh, comedian I've never heard of, um, uh, William Shatner, George Foreman, and Terry Bradshaw. So a bunch of old cranks. Jeez. And basically... Henry doesn't fall into that category of people. I guess. And basically, like, they, they go, they pick a destination, and they go there, and they, like, experience that culture or whatever. Like, I saw a clip of it, and they were in, I I don't know if they were in Switzerland or what, but there's this Swiss delicacy. It's this tin can, and it has this fermented fish in it. And the fish has been, like, fermented for, like, 20 years. It's absolutely disgusting. It's one of those things, like, the second you pop it, like a soda, like, shh, you can smell it instantly, and it oh. makes you vomit. It's fish. It's 20 years old. Um, so I saw a clip this of it. Really nasty. Yeah, I saw a clip of it, and one of them refused to do it. Uh, I want to say it was Henry Winkler. He couldn't do it. He refused to do it. Mm -hmm. um, Terry Bradshaw was kind of like, eh, I'll probably do it. And he, will, he comes off as that. And William Shatner sat at, the, sat at the end of the table and was like, whatever, popped it, didn't even gag, starts pulling the fish out and popping it in his mouth. Just like I'm having a regular day. It was like a regular day for Bill. He was fine with it. Of I'm all, like, of all the names, I'd expect him to be like that. I, I, and I, like she was telling me about it, and I said, okay. I said I've heard that Henry Winkler can be a very nice person. I've never heard. I've never actually heard anything bad about him. I said, I saw him at a comic con. I said, and what surprised me is how short he was. Hmm. I don't know why I expected him to be taller. He's always at the comic cons. Yeah. Um, he needs money. But I've heard horrible things about Shatner. Um, a lot. Of, well, <laughs> I want to hear these. Just, just how he can be very abrasive. Uh, he can be very rude. Um, if you like, I can dig up stories for next week. Um, well, I'm, I'm, not really, for it. I'm not really prepared now, but uh, a lot of people have had problems with him As, and even back way back on star trek he thought he was a much bigger deal than he was um mm -hmm. so i found it strange when she was telling me this cast that this is something that he would even agree to 
Yeah, because I say, I say we do some of these stories. <laughs> I'll make a note. Yep. I'll write myself a note. We'll we'll have that next week. Um. Yeah, I was like, I can't even believe he he said he was all right with this, but I don't. She she loves it. She's like, Terry, you got to see it. It's funny. I was like, I don't know. I don't know because like, I I go I kind of like cringe a little bit when people's like, oh, you need to see this. It's really really funny, and then you watch and you're like. <laughs> <laughs> we all have a different level of funniness. yeah yeah so i'm like i don't know i don't know i don't know, I don't know how i feel about it <laughs> but oh yeah we were talking about 80s stuff <laughs> <laughs> now that the show is just about over um all right i'll, I'll just wrap up my list care bears i loved care bears Munchie cheese. I have a munchie cheese somewhere. I think he's on the shelf back there. He was up there. Oh, yeah. yeah, there he is. Yeah, I have munchie cheese. He was cute. Um, I used to love the Wuzzles. Uh, cabbage Patch. I had a Cabbage Patch kid. I had bags of Smurfs. <laughs> bags of them. And I don't know what the fuck happened to them. I had so many. They were probably given away, too. I, you know? Probably. Uh, a Pillow People, if anybody remembers Pillow People. Pillow. 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 Pillow People. I had the one that looked like a boxer and he had the black eye. He's like, shut up. <laughs> um, they used to have these things. It was created by Xavier Roberts, the same guy who did the Cabbage Patch Kids. They were called, and don't giggle, <laughs> Furskin Bear. Hmm? Yeah, it was a Furskin Bear, and I had one, and it was like, he was a little bear, and he, had, he came with, like, hiking boots and, like, a little shirt, but he had, like, a belly. <laughs> he was adorable. He came with a little, little belly. Take him camping with you. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know why he needed boots, but he had them. And my favorite thing of all time, and I, I have spent se several years trying to find one, my pet monster. Oh, they're all over eBay. Are they really? Mm -hmm. For a reasonable price? I bet not. I bet not. My pet monsters. Yeah. I was actually going to try mm. and contact um, the toy hunter guy. <laughs> It'd be like, can you find me a My Pet Monster at a reasonable price? He still goes to Comic-Cons, I think. He does. Yes, he does. Well, like conventions. He was just, uh, he was at the New York one. I don't know why his show isn't on anymore. We, we used to love that show. I know. That was a really good show. I tried. I wrote to Travel Channel and everything. <laughs> Nobody listens. Nobody listens, and they should. Of course not. Yeah. It's like when you, because we like it. Yeah. Everything we like, you know, we don't get to keep it. It goes away. <laughs> it goes away, and we never get to see it again. Son of a gun. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's looking up My Pet Monster on eBay. I bet it's disgusting. The first one's a hundred and nine dollars. Yeah, or, fuck that. Or best offer, so one hundred eight. You know what? My memories are free. <laughs> uh, this one has eleven bids of forty two dollars. Uh, uh, this one here looks like a football player. He's a hundred no. nineteen ninety five. Uh, this one's ninety. This is nope. Fifteen watches. Nope. Uh, that was. That's the one I want. That one. With the little, he had the handcuffs. Mm -hmm. He's like, rawr, and I'm breaking the handcuffs. I'm pissed. Well, that's thirty-eight dollars. Hundred-three. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Last time I looked at these for you, it was a lot less than this. Yeah. But this is one of the things I hate about eBay. What? And it's because people are selling stuff that's eighties, eighties ish. Yeah. And they think, oh, I can put a humongous price on it. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm trying. Uh, slowly to um, complete more of my DVD collection. Now, I have uh, The Breakfast Club on DVD. Now, son of a bitch, I got it a couple years ago. <laughs> right? Yes. They are re-releasing it ah. with like, I don't know, three hours of additional footage. Wow. It's going to be crazy. And I got so mad because I was like, I just bought it. And now it's garbage. Because I have to go out and get the re-released. Mm -hmm. I have to get the special edition. I got one of them too. Yeah. I think one of them has like a 12-part documentary. and 
Yeah, I know. There's commentary with uh, Judd Nelson and Michael Anthony Hall. Yeah. But what else can they add to this? That's what I want to know. <laughs> they, add, they have a lot of um, deleted scenes. And there's extra footage. There's a hmm. footage... There's footage where, I guess, Andrew follows... Um, Ali Sheets' character into the the girls' room, Ooh. and they're talking. No, they're just talking. Oh, but they just have a whole conversation <laughs> in the women's room. In the in the girls' room, I think they said it was in the girls' room because I was like, that sounds peculiar. <laughs> this one we got bald spot. Oh, I don't want a bald. Bom- I don't want a bald monster. <laughs> you little, well, My pet monster. No, they moved the fur in that picture, and right there it's fine. I had a stuffed Alf doll too. He was cool. You should get him again. Yeah, uh, there's a lot I, I need to do. I got a lot to do, Sean, and very little money to do it in. Yeah, here you go. The, fo- the football version of my pet monster. Yeah. Someone selling one for five hundred bucks. Oh, get the heck out of town! And they still want thirty-eight dollars to ship it. What? Yep. Five hundred or best offer, so four ninety-nine ninety-nine. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'll do an offer of like thirty bucks, <laughs> and here you go. The counter offer would be the middle finger. Oh, that's awful! My goodness. That's how they are on eBay these days. Yeah. I should know about those offers. <laughs> yes, you should. I try. I I don't understand the whole eBay thing, so. I try to be fair. Yeah. You know, if someone's selling something for sixteen dollars or best offer, yeah. I'll try around thirteen, fourteen, or, or twelve, thirteen, mm-hmm. see where we can play ball. <laughs> when they come back with fifteen dollars, sorry. All right, I'll give you another example. Okay. I just recently bought a replica of the Super Bowl ring from last year mm-hmm. for the Pats, and I made an offer. Let's see. Ten bucks, I think. Okay. They came back with an offer. Uh, what was it? <laughs> Fuck. Let me see what I got. Off. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't do the eBay thing. I just go on Amazon and buy something. <laughs> I got it. Oh, I found a. Speaking of which. Um, I went out last Saturday with the intention of hoping to try to find another Bob Ross Funko Pop. Mm -hmm. Bob Ross Funko Pop. (laughs) Uh, Because I wanted to get another version of it. Because they did a bunch. At least four. Yeah. So I was trying to get another version of it. And um, I went to a couple different stores. I couldn't find one. But I did find... uh, the Roger Moore 007, because I love Roger Moore in the double in the James Bond movies. Um, so I got the Roger Moore 007. And I found, and I couldn't believe that I found it because I didn't know it existed, the Lawrence, a Lawrence Taylor Funko Pop. And Lawrence Taylor was the first giant that I remember just like, he, he was one of the players that made me fall in love with the team hmm. from the 80s. And I was like, oh my God. Like, he's the reason I'm a Giants fan. No tea. Yes. So I was like, I have to get that. Did you find out what the... Yeah, he's. I was checking his, his other items he's selling. Yeah. So he has another one he's selling for like 14 bucks. Yeah. So I made like a uh, like 11 $12 off. No. Yeah. I made a $10 offer. And he came back with one, which was like $14, $15. Mm-hmm. And I counter-offered his offer. I'm like, ha. Ah. Try this. Yeah. So I tried 10, and he came back with 11. Then I said 10, 10 26. And then he came back with a response saying, um, Can you do 11? <laughs> oh my God. It's like you're, you're staying at 11. Wow. So between $10 and 26 cents and $11, he can't spare that, that remainder mm. there. Well, that's 75 cents. So it makes or breaks some people. So I said, fine. Wow. And I took the 11. Should be arriving anytime now. All right. 
So on that crushing disappointment, <laughs> on that crushing blow, we must say goodbye. Uh, thank you for joining us. You can listen to the podcast on iTunes, SoundCloud, or Stitcher. You can watch the video version on YouTube. Nice. <laughs> like, subscribe, share. Thank you. Um, I think that's it. We'll see you next time. Yeah. I got nothing else to say. I'm going to shut up now. I'm going to shut up. Sean's got something to tell you. I still got something to say. Hell, we got everything. Oh, I'm in the way. <laughs> still in the way. Get out of the way. <laughs> I can't.